フルカウンター Mayero, the final Archangel, will be the last goddess to come to Grand Cross. Kind of. There are still a lot more possible goddesses to come towards the game. Like, we're definitely going to get more Elizabeths. We still need to get female Sario if they ever decide to do that. We still need to get the final or uh, even second colors of the original Archangels. And there are still a few in the story that we've yet to get. Like, let's say Denzel being possessed by Nerobasta. Nerobasta herself. Jenna and Daenerys are both goddesses that get revealed towards the end of the series. However, will they be characters in the game? Will they actually be goddesses? We don't know. There's the one girl from Cast by Light that looks hot enough to be a character. <laughs> In the first 70s movie, we did have Solar, who I believe wields Mayo's actual weapon. And then finally, we have Nanashi, who technically speaking, ripped off his wings. So he's no longer a goddess, but still is a goddess, but still classed as unknown. So, realistically speaking, Mayo is the only one guaranteed to come to the game, while the others aren't so much. I still think he should come to the game, but will Netmobile do them? I'm not too sure. Unless it's female Sario, then they're not really making a lot of money and probably won't bring any attention towards the game. So, Mayo will likely be one of the last goddesses to come to the game in terms of getting a new character. But what does the goddess team need? And what can Mayo do to the goddess team to make it a top tier team, right? Well, one, we know right now that Mayo won't be a light type character. Which I guess is kind of fine because the goddess team already has the light passive with light Elizabeth. But they definitely do need a big DPS character. More or less a character that can do a lot of damage turn 1 and turn 2. While you start to build up that light Elizabeth passive. And then after 2 turns, that's when light Elizabeth can be a big DPS character. Because you watch the gameplay in the background. Now, granted right now, we did get quite lucky because they did attack it to Masario. But even doing in that i still got slapped because the demon team and all the buffs they get and their big dps characters because they got more than one big dps they can do a lot and even when i do kill their main dps like let's say you know perk the videos the Esrosa can still kill half my team where once my lizard dies right now i can't do too much because saru and tamio and even the margaret aren't doing too much unless they rush ultimates and that's kind of the bad thing about the goddess team right now is that they do a lot but only when they ult their ultimates are to be fair very very good because they kind of instantly kill people especially if you are 6-6 six, six. but like i said once elizabeth is gone then it's not that great and if you look at the synergy between the characters uh it did not really make sense if you look at saria what her passive is is to increase archangel's damage by you know 40 percent for every buff on the field basically but the problem is the main dps on the team is light elizabeth who is even an archangel so he's definitely building up towards Mayel. I mean, if you can imagine Mayel with 40% extra crit damage, uh, it might be kind of insane, right? She definitely needs Mayel because if you look towards even Tamiel, granted you could use the red one, but why would you use the red one when he's more powerful in the link slot? He's not critting. Margaret, ah, uh, she's not really critting too much. She's not really a big DPS character. And one of her skills is a buff skill. This don't really crit nowadays, the actual AoE skill. It used to crit when you use Golfer, but this is, uh, but without any crit chance increase, this is likely not critting. So, the, the, the passive is just useless basically not to mention right now there is no goddess in the sub slot that can work other than the blue tamiel that's only because of his relic with obviously green sariel and i'm not saying when we, when we get Mia, we should get another goddess to make the sub slot useful but like i said we still need to get narrow Basta. we could get jenna or zanari as a support character as well there's still a few more goddesses they could do and we can definitely get more versions of the original archangels to be used in the sub slot because the team definitely need more support i mean look at the demon team how much support they've gotten recently to where they're now one of the best teams in the game. I mean, Chandler, Demon Chandler, Demi Q side, they have so much more options and variety. They can do a lot and it makes the team fun. I've had so much fun recently using the Demon team. Where when you go towards, I mean, granted, uh, let's <laughs> let's not talk about the giant and fair race. We forget about those. But the Goddess team is kind of a main theme in least terms of like importance in the series. So the scene gets shafted in comparison towards demons. When it's basically Goddess versus demons, uh, they definitely do more love. So for Miel, I'm definitely in between what they're going to do for the character. My first thought is that he will be a festival character. But the more I thought about it, and especially when you look towards what's coming towards this year, he could very well be a 6 run down banner. And the reason why I say that is because, because there is a more universal Miel to come out that could be beneficial to be a dark type character. And that is the commandment Miel. Now, firstly, this character will be a goddess and also have commandments. So the character will be usable on the demon team. And I feel like we just because he's so unique and the fact he can work in many different teams, this character should 100% be a dark type. 
and will also fit the theme very well, but also should be a festival for the fact that the character is so unique. And when you compare that towards the normal yell and the character we have right now in slow mode, he don't look too unique. Actually, to be fair, he looks quite boring. I would have thought they would have made the character a festival, and he still could be a festival character, but the fact that he haven't given us Light Miel this year, or I guess last year, and instead gave us Ultimate Eskinal, I'm starting to think this Miel won't be a festival character. But then I remembered, well, there's technically another Miel that we could see in the game that could be quite unique. And that is just the past Miel. In the past, Miel does wear a suit of armor that does look kind of unique and also wields a weapon, if I'm not remembering wrong, where he does have the sword that we do see featured in Cursed by Light, which was a massive selling point of the movie, basically. And this Miel, I can definitely see being a festival character. Also, not to mention, the character in the past would have the Sunshine Grace, or he could still give the Sunshine Grace towards the actual Miel that we see featured throughout the story mode. But he will have a Grace, and boys, it's a Grace, it's a selling point. The character be usable many different teams even if you don't plan to use a goddess team so the release of a festival for grace seems like a no-brainer it's gonna make a lot of money and i say that now but the funny thing we already have margaret in the game who was a festival character and her grace is basically useless i mean it's not great <laughs> when have you ever used this it was kind of being used to do a lot of damage towards obviously the actual barn team but uh even then it wasn't even that powerful and unfortunately, we didn't really get to see too much between Miel in the past because the character was kind of hidden for a long time. And we only really saw a bunch of silhouettes and he didn't really do too much in the past. But I do feel like the fact that he does have this sword could give a lot of options towards the character being a big DPS character and also make a lot of unique animations. Because at the moment, the one in story mode, which is what I predicted they were going to give the character, looks very boring. And I think they got to just go back and give him something unique. And the only way I see him doing that is if they give the one with the sword. Plus, the armor is really, really good. If you look at how they done the Ultimate Eskinor's actual armor as well, not that it's similar, but a fire character, a sunshine character, looks always good in gold armor. But let me know what you guys think. I know, personally, I kind of lost interest in Mia once Ultimate Eskinor came out, but now that I've seen his animation in the story mode, granted, they weren't the greatest, I've now gotten more hype for him. And the Goddess team definitely needs it, man. Like I said, the Goddess team is a little bit boring. They ain't got really much going on there. And we just need more characters. Now, this Wednesday, we are getting a new character, which is the one-year anniversary of this Sario coming out to the game. So uh, maybe we get female Sario this uh, Wednesday. Or it's even possible, or I think it should be probably a demon. We likely could be getting Miao and Six from Dan Banner. But the more I think of it, Miao in the actual armor from the past really does fit the bill for being a festival character that I feel like might be next festival coming for this global anniversary. And unfortunately, we already know right now is that he won't be a light type character just because we've already got on back-to-back -back grand festivals. We won't see one for probably another six months time. And by the time that happens, I feel like saving Dark Mio when he has his commandments might be more fitting with maybe saving for later on, you know, sometime next year to build up hype towards him again. But if I had to guess a color, I would say red, just because we haven't really gotten a really good red DPS character for the Goddess team. It's basically Tamiyo, who's basically useless, but might become more useful once we do get, obviously, a Mayo in the game. And I'm only saying this because, technically speaking, in the lore-wise, Mayo did beat the original demon, and the original demon in the game is green, so if we obviously use Mayo in the actual raid boss, it would be kind of fitting towards the character. But uh, yeah, boys, let me know what you think of Mayo. Are you excited for him? Once again, I really do feel like the character might come out sometime soon. But I wanted to bring it up today because, once again, the Goddess team definitely needs it. We're seeing less and less of it in PvP, but also as well, I wanted to remind you lot that there are actually more goddesses in Seven Days Sins that people kind of forget, like obviously Nero Basta, Denzel, you know, Jenna and Zanero. We need to see these characters in game, and I hope Netmarble goes towards them. But uh, hey, at least we always can guarantee that female Sari will be a playable character in the game, and Lord knows when she drops, it is going to be a crazy time summon for her. So, boys, you'll see. So, boys, thank you for watching, and uh, yeah, peace.